So you guys already know what my advice is. Whenever you have reading comprehension passages that have questions or constructive responses, anything of that nature, my advice is to always read the questions first and pick out some keywords in each sentence that will help you to narrow down the information in the passage that you need to answer those questions. So here we are. So the first question, it says, here are some dictionary definitions of the word state. One, a nervous feeling. Two, a territory of the government. Three, the form of matter. Or four, a part of the United States of America, all four of which are nouns. A noun is a person, place, or thing. The question is, which definition is closest to the way the word states is used in the following sentence from the first paragraph? Their teacher, Ms. Jones, also told them that matter could change states or forms depending on the temperature. So which definition from above shows the way the word states is used in that sentence? Number two, which term should be placed in the arrow? So basically, ice, what happens to, what happens to it in order for it to become water? A, evaporation, B, heat, C, gas, or D, liquid? Which one of those is added to ice in order to make it into water? Number three, what was Tamara's hypothesis? A, that the cube would evaporate. B, that the ice cube would refreeze if they put it in the freezer. C, that the ice cube would melt faster if they put it outside. Or D, the ice cube would melt faster if the temperature were raised. Number four, why did Ms. Jones give the students recess even though they lost the bet? A, she was proud of their thinking. B, she wanted to take a break on Friday. C, she always let them have extra recess on Friday. Or D, they had behaved well. Five, in the story, what did Ivan learn? A, always bet against Ms. Jones. B, Ms. Jones never keeps her promises. C, matter can change states, even though a person may not be able to see it happen. Or D, matter never changes. So now that I've read the questions, I go to the front, um, excuse me, the top, and I'm going to read the Great Ice Challenge. The fifth grade class at Equal Lake Elementary was learning about the states of matter. They learned that matter was anything that contained mass and had volume, such as a chair, a person, and even air. Their teacher, Miss Jones, also told them that matter could change states or forms depending on the temperature. That does not make any sense, said Ivan. A chair is always a chair. Air is always air, and I'm always Ivan. I have never seen any of these change states. Hmm, said Miss Jones. What if I can prove you wrong? The kids were excited because this sounded like an interesting challenge. The kids gleefully accepted the challenge and anxiously waited as Miss Jones showed them an ice cube on a tray. Is this ice cube matter? She asked them as she held up one of the ice cubes. Sure, said Tamara. It definitely has mass because we can put it on the triple beam balance and weigh it, and it also has volume because it takes up space. I know that the ice cube is in a solid state of matter because it has a specific size and shape. I also noticed that when you put it on the tray, the ice cube kept its shape. Great. So we all agree that this is matter, Ms. Jones said. I removed it from the cafeteria freezer just a moment ago. So let us observe what happens as it warms up. The fifth graders got out their observation notebooks and watched closely. They took detailed notes as the ice cube began to drip, creating a small puddle in the middle of the tray. Tamara predicted that the rate of melting might increase if they raised the temperature of the ice cube by adding a heat source. That's an interesting idea, Tamara, Ms. Jones said. Can you think of a way that we might test your hypothesis? I know, said Tamara. The overhead projector always heats up when we are using it. Let us place the tray on the projector and observe what happens then. Miss Jones transported the tray to the overhead projector. The increase in temperature did make the ice cube melt faster, just as Tamara had predicted. In the short amount of time since the ice cube had been removed from the freezer, the ice cube had melted completely, and all that remained was a puddle of water. Okay, said Ivan. I understand what you're saying. When heat is added to a solid, it begins to melt. So melting is one way that matter can change states from a solid to a liquid. Yes, said Miss Jones. Even the chair can change states. It is made of metal and plastic. If I heated it to a high enough temperature, the metal and plastic would melt and become liquid, just like the ice. <laughs>